So I injured these three fingers in a pocket hold. So I had my left hand like this, and I could only fit the three fingers in the pocket, and I suddenly lost my foot grip. And I fell into those three fingers, and I held it for about half a second or so, and I could feel the burn up through my forearm into the fingers, and I kind of let go. So it was kind of a sudden stretching of those tendons. I knew I did something. Finger injuries are probably the most common climbing injury, and they usually involve the tendons and tendon sheaths. We've got the flexor digitorum profundus and the flexor digitorum superficialis. These tendons connect to the flexor muscles located in your forearm. When flexed, the tendons pull along the length of your finger, allowing you to grip the holds. Areas of thickened tendon sheath form the pulleys, which maintain tracking of the tendon and provide a fulcrum to translate the force from your muscle up to the tips of your fingers. Rock climbing exposes your fingers to some unique stresses, particularly in a crimp position, which puts the tendon in flexion at the proximal joint and extension distally. This exerts a lot of force on the pulleys, particularly the A2 pulley, and can even cause it to tear. To prevent an injury, warm up and stretch your forearms and hands before climbing. Work your way up to project climbs in each session and vary your training with different hold types. Take breaks between climbs and know your limits. What's so far? If you have an injury, stop climbing and get it checked out by a healthcare professional. I saw a sports medicine specialist who recommended massage and physiotherapy. All right, so we're working on lengthening Laura's forearm flexors right now. We're looking for any areas of hypertonicity or tight spots through the muscles and any scar tissue. At home, you can use a foam roller or tennis ball, but make sure you heat up the muscles first to prevent any bruising or damage. My forearms were really tight and Jessica was able to massage out some scar tissue surrounding the tendons and pulleys in my fingers. So I'm sure you know about like doing just basic kind of stretches and stretches this way. We can do a bit more stretching into those tight flexors with a bit of load just in a simple a kind of four point position. So you want to have nice wide spread fingers and you can kind of work on leaning your body over and just nice whatever your wrists feel comfortable with. That's a big stretch there already? Yeah. Yeah. We can start small with even just one towel roll and get it underneath there. Yeah, and you want to think actively trying to open those fingers. So that's an easy stretch and then you can, you can, do, it, you can do different angles, yeah. Um, now, oftentimes just doing different finger holds can be a bit too intense for those injured fingers. So we need to have uh, a way to kind of graduate up to um, that full body load. So an easy way to do that is using your good old barbell, okay? I can do like a curl or a deadlift in that position or just kind of hold in that position. If I want to work into those outer three fingers, then I can just hook on those guys. Or even just the little, ooh, little one. Maybe not yet. <laughs> All right? Yeah, so just an easy hang position. Yeah. Yeah, you can do a little little finger curls in that position. But really, you just want to think because it's an endurance. You want to just work on that hang, yeah, holding that it. holding that position. Yeah. If you want to do two exercises at once, you could do a little deadlift or something, or some bent rows, so you get a a pull with that grip. So we can do grip holds like so. You can do a grip hold like so. So now I'm, and again, you can, you can eliminate fingers, right? So I can do just a two finger hold, the outer fingers. Mm -hmm. okay. It's heavy. It's heavy, yeah. Yeah, so that's 30 pounds with an awkward hold. Yeah. Now how many times are you into half your body weight, right? So, if you do have access to kettlebells, they themselves are great in the sense that you can work on different grips, right? So you can, you can grab it different, different positions. Just like any workout, you want to go slowly, 
build your endurance up. Because you're going to feel fine now. It's going to be more, how does it feel 24 hours later? When you're ready to start climbing again, you can use H-taping to provide some additional external support for the injured pulley. I like a wide piece of tape for this. Tear the tape into an H shape and overlay the center on the palmer side of the proximal joint. With a little bit of flexion, apply the tape and make sure you maintain mobility and blood supply to your finger.